This is Machuka Nyarieko TV Talk Show, where we analyze politics and governance issues. We focus on national, local, and international news. We examine the political way of our people, social and economic. Nyarieko TV Talk Show, the house of ideas. Good evening viewers, this is Machuga Nyarieko TV talk show, the house of ideas and as usual. Uh, today we shall uh, focus on uh, our three men, that is uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, the former President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, the Honorable Uhuru Maigai Kenyatta and the former Prime Minister Honorable Raira Amoru Odinga and uh, my main focus is or my main focus is on uh, the broad based government and uh, uh, the question here is uh, whether these readers when they come together and discuss their issues, they put the interests of the people first or it only becomes an issue of a, a sharing of political power. Uh, before we proceed, kindly listen to the clip on how William Ruto talks of governments of sharing power. We agree as a people, His Excellency the President stated clearly we want this CPI report copies to be made available so that every citizen can read for themselves and can decide for themselves. When did it change that now it is not the citizens to read, it is for politicians and their uh, encourage to lead that it is not for citizens to decide and it will be decided by some group of people who have vested interests. Number two, a report that has been accepted by all Kenyans. Why is there a campaign? Why are we using public resources? The public resources that we should have used to pay pending bills, resources that we should have used to implement the agenda that we have set out for Kenyans. Counties are complaining that they have no money for salaries, they have no money for projects. Where do they find money to go campaigning for a document that has no opposition? And what is the money? It is now obvious that there are people who are dissatisfied with the BPI report and they are hiding behind this campaign because they want to introduce another report or they want to change the BPI report because they don't support it and they are now using this so-called popularization of the BPI report. How do you popularize a document that has no opposition? You know? So people must be honest. If you have a problem with the BBI report, because you want things to be put there, because you want additional seats or additional whatever you want to put there, be honest. Okay, from the crib, you have heard that uh, William Ruto promises people that once he takes power, uh, he will not focus on power sharing, but he will instead give his priorities to the people of Kenya, that is from the bottom going up. But has this been the case? Why are these three individuals coming together? Are their ideas people-centered? Before I give a few of the reasons on uh, what I think their main aim is, 
kindly if you are watching this channel for the first time subscribe so that whenever we produce another video youtube will automatically notify you and for our subscribers thank you for your continued support and uh, for your information i'll uh, like to thank all of you because also from uh, this video you can see that youtube has acknowledged our work and we have been given a go ahead back to our discussion why do you think william samoe ruto went to ijaweri do you think he went to settle or to seek advice on how he can improve the lives of common man or to seek advice how he can manipulate the people of Kenya of course this was the right time for William Ruto to go to Ijaweli because as he thinks a uh, rook or as it is as it has been perceived by many William Ruto is undergoing hard times more especially because the young people the church and the entire society or many people feel that they have been sidelined by his government and that's why you have seen we had the demonstrations that is the Gen Z revolution we also have been ha having echoing of the president when in public meetings judge and many others but is the solution reaching out to the top readers on my own opinion is that the top readers the likes of the former president Uru Mugai Kenyatta are not much affected by the people and the people are likely to dissent from him in case there is any cooperation already they have descended from the former prime minister Raira Amoro Odinga apart from maybe from his own turf of which I believe that the young people are still on the descending end what should William Ruto do instead of going to the house and consulting them one advice if asked because he has so many people who are paid as his advisors is to do what is expected it's not even to go to open projects simple projects or anything else it's just to sit in his status fund the judiciary fund the dci fund the uh, police force or service and ask for the corrupt to be brought before the courts of Rome and within two weeks everyone everybody even citizens will be trying to reach out to him because they will be seeing him as a son who has been sent by God to save the people of Kenya by meeting these other people by leading them out by uh, forming broad-based government is just nothing is forming broad based economic people who may not help much therefore it is my opinion that for him to succeed 
It's good to reach out to the former president because the former president has got his selfish or self interest. He'll ask him, I have a brother here, I have a sister here, I have my community, I have friends here, kindly assist them. That will not have solved the issue. Raira gave his experts. The experts have changed so fast. They are even worse than the ruling regime. So the best thing for him is not to look for the portuguese, but look for solutions for the Kenyan people. But you can TV talk show, the house of ideas. Thank you for your continued watching.